Well, hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a non-car related video, but kind of car related, because it has to do with tools. And as you can see, I've got my Milwaukee shirt on, and behind me here is a Milwaukee Packout stack that I customize. Now, why would this be car related? Well, if you'd like to work on cars, this is an awesome toolbox, especially if you're moving around. You can throw it in the back of your truck, disassemble it, move it to the job site, reassemble it, roll it around. Uh, I have mine kind of set up for my work job sites where I'm going to a warehouse a lot, but I also change them out. I use them for overlanding because these drawers are awesome for putting your stuff in. Uh, and I also use them when I'm going uh, hunting for parts at the junkyard and I'll show you the setup I have in the back of my truck to mount a couple of these packout systems. So check out this video on the Milwaukee Packout Toolboxes. I love them, they're awesome. Check it out. All right, so this is my Milwaukee Packout set. <clears throat> I started with this uh, one over here as my rolling base. Uh, but the problem was is that as I stacked up, it got way too heavy to tilt back and lean. And I'm most of the time in a warehouse working on items. So that I decided to take off and not use as a base anymore. So I have the Milwaukee rolling base plate, which just snaps into pretty much any of your Milwaukee pack out items. And then I've got the three drawer, the two drawer, and then we have a toolbox here. Uh, an organizing bin, an organizing bin, and then the Milwaukee Fuel Packout Vac. Now, I made some adjustments to mine or some modifications. There's lots of options out there on the internet for how to do this, uh, but I kind of fabricated my own. So I just took some of this uh, aluminum stock from Home Depot. I bent it in my vise over there and put it into the side rails. Now you can go online and buy side rails that have screws in them, but these are really nice because uh, you can mount things to them. Uh, I've got a little hook here. I can hang a hard hat on or a vest or something. And then the ones down here below, I just cut out little notches which fit inside of the pack out slots. And I can mount um, my sm smaller items directly to the side. So like this, for instance, is all of my impact sockets. So they're ready to go. I just pull them right off the side. It's not the smoothest, and I could probably work on that a little bit, but it does the job. And on this side, I have um, all my screwdriver bits and nut drivers and things for the impacts. Just pull those right off. Uh, this, these Milwaukee battery powered shop vacs are amazing. Um, this one's nice because it clicks right in. And then it has attachments right on the inside. So they store, it stores those for you. And then you wrap the cord or the hose around the outside like that. And then I'm usually with a laptop when I'm on my sites working, looking at designs and plans. So I kind of wanted a mobile work surface. So I made this. I bought some little cleats off of eBay. Someone like 3D prints them and they just slide into the pack out. Took me a board, cut it to about the size that I want. And it slides in the top just like that. And I can sit my laptop on it and have some items up here. I have a few little holes over here for the screwdriver. And then I can just grab the handles and walk around. And I've got everything I need with me right here. Now, if you're doing rough terrain, this setup won't work. These wheels are not very good for that. That's when you want one like this. Which you can tilt back and it's got the bigger wheels on it. Um, and you could put a few smaller toolboxes. This is what I usually take when I go to a junkyard to look for parts. I just throw some things in there, put my sockets on top, and run with that. So we'll go through how I set this up. I've got one of these trays here with all these removable bins for various kind of screws and bolts and nuts and washers. That saves you some Home Depot runs, which I hate doing 15 of every day. So you have these little clips right here. You just pull that up, pull it out, pull off that pack out piece. This one, I have extra sockets in, just 
some of my drill bits. I've got the pass-through sockets to keep my cutting tools in here, some deep wells. All of that stays in here. The next toolbox is where I keep my knee pads and some of my larger tools. I got a rotary hammer in there, some hammers, um, a hundred foot tape measure. And these are all, you can see that these are all sealed with rubber. So they stay watertight. Now with the drawers, you just pull this down and you can slide this guy inside of the drawer and then you just pull the drawer out. Now I, I got some dividers, I keep a couple impacts and batteries in here. Down here I got my sawzall, my angle grinder and some bits and gloves. That's my two drawer. On the bottom, I've got measuring and leveling, markers, cutting devices, some screwdrivers, chalk line. I've got wrenches, sockets, or wrenches and uh, pliers in this one. And then down here, I've got some nut drivers. I have this little device, which uh, is a little AC inverter that runs off a Milwaukee battery. This is extremely handy. And some first aid kits. And then you just pop that back in. Now these modifications that I made here on the side, these side rails, so these are great if, let's say, I want to, I'm working with my tape measure and I want to set that out there. Or I've got my impact, I can set that out there. Now, these are aluminum, so I can't use my magnetic stuff on it. You could get steel and then attach magnetic things on there, which would be awesome as well. Put my uh, Milwaukee blade out here. Just like that. And I can do the same things on this side, but I can also hang a safety vest here or my hard hat or anything with a lanyard on it. Now, like I said, this one's great if you're trying to roll over rougher terrain and you're not trying to pack so much. So the inside of this one is just open empty space, but you do have these bins, divider bins that you can put in here. I kind of use this one for camping anything that I want to keep safe because it keeps it sealed and you can see it's got some mud on it from the last overlanding trip where the water got up into my truck bed and then I can just roll this out and roll right to the campsite. Now with my Nissan here and I think a, a handful of other trucks will do this as well but we have this rail system built in uh, which Normally you would use these cleats that, Aunt, that Nissan makes that you can mount for straps either on the side or on the bottom. But what I did is I bought the Milwaukee Packout mounting plate and then took a screw or a bolt and some of these, these are for mounting things to like Unistrut or Superstrut and I'll just slide this into that gap, put the screw down in it and then I have a really solid mount without putting holes in my truck bed for the Milwaukee Packout. So I'll, I'll take those three drawers, I'll put it right here when I'm overlanding, and I'll put my cooking utensils and stuff, just pull the drawers right there out of the tailgate. And I use my Packout set here when I'm not working and going on these trips and set them up for camping. So I got drawers, and I just have a little screw into the bottom of this plate. I also have these. Uh, these are not Milwaukee. These are something I got at an auction for next to nothing. But I bought the, some of those and I put those little Milwaukee Packout feet like I have on my top. And I keep those bins in the back of my truck most of the time. So that's got like recovery gear, some emergency supplies, and then my other one has like oil and tools in it. And then they don't bounce around the back of the truck. Well, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can see all the other cool stuff I find or the fun trips that I go on or any car reviews that I might post. So hopefully I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching today. Kentucky Petrolhead, over and out.